Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode now. Welcome to the lecture series on building a Spring Boot application to perform basic CRUD operations. In the previous video, we completed our put endpoint uh, where we updated a particular record by passing the ID in the path variable and the object in the request body. So let's look at our to-do list. So we are almost at the end of this particular project. We completed the put endpoint. So let's mark that as completed. And the only thing that is pending for this project is creating a delete endpoint. So let's get started with that. In my uh, controller class, I'll create a new method with the annotation delete mapping. And I'll just pass in the URL as uh, slash delete. So let's look at what this uh, delete mapping annotation does. So basically, uh, delete mapping is an annotation which is used in Spring Boot to handle the HTTP delete request. As we have seen earlier, uh, get mapping is for get, the post mapping is for post, and put mapping is for uh, put uh, HTTP request. Similarly, delete mapping is for HTTP delete request, uh, which we mentioned in our uh, controller uh, class. So uh, I'll create a method here saying uh, let's say public and the return type is string here also i'll just say something like deleted successfully or just success and i'll say the method name as delete it accepts uh, no parameter okay it accepts one parameter which should be our uh, id so in the url i'll pass in the path variable say something as id and in the parameter of this delete method, I'll just accept uh, by using the annotation path variable and it is of type integer and I'll give the name as ID. And now I'll have to call the service class to delete the object with this particular ID, which we are passing dynamically in the URL. To say, do that, let's go to service class and create one method uh, to delete the ID. I'll say public. It returns nothing so the return type is void and the name is delete and it accepts one parameter which is of type integer and I'll say ID so what we have to do is we just have to call our uh, personal details repo and call the method delete or delete by ID uh, and in this delete by ID, we will have to pass the ID as a parameter which we have received in the path variable. So this basically just uh, calls the delete by ID method for, for, for our delete uh, personal details repo and deletes the object uh, containing that particular ID. So let's come to our controller class and call our uh, service class and say delete and pass in the ID which which is being expected and then I'll just say return deleted successfully okay so this delete endpoint should work as expected basically uh, it is just uh, get uh, expecting a path variable which contains an ID and that ID is passed as a parameter for our uh, controller method delete and then we are calling the uh, service class uh, where we have written one method called uh, delete which returns nothing but what it is doing is it is calling the our repo and deleting it by, based on id this delete by id method is provided by the jpa interface which we have extended in our uh, personal details repo interface so let me stop and rerun my application Now that it's running, let me open Postman, create a few records. I'll create one more record. And I'll create one more uh, record called decode now which is our uh, channel name. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please, please do consider doing it. So now if I get all the details, I can see all the three records available. Uh, I'll just create a new HTTP request 
and it is of type post and the url is basically uh, localhost 8080 slash details slash delete and we are expecting an id so let me say i wanted to delete the id one i'll just pass in one here it is not expecting any body so i'll just send the request okay it says 405 method not allowed uh, it's not post it's a delete method uh, my bad i'll just send and it says deleted successfully and if i come to my get all uh, details endpoint and send it again you can see that the first record was uh, deleted successfully in a similar way if i wanted to remove my third record i would just come here and say uh, pass in the id3 and send uh, it says deleted successfully again and if i come to my get all endpoints and uh, send So you can see that uh, the record with ID3 uh, was deleted successfully. So basically what we did was uh, we created a method in the controller class by uh, using this add delete mapping annotation and we passed in the ID as a path variable and we just called the delete method in the service class and inside service class with the help of this delete by ID method which was uh, provided by the JPA interface which we uh, extended uh, for our personal details repo we deleted by passing this id as a parameter so this was all about our uh, delete endpoint if we take a quick look at our uh, to-do list uh, we even completed the final part of our uh, final task of our to-do list so we uh, we did all the setup we created the controller service and the repository class we created all the uh, four uh, endpoints the post the get the put and the delete so now uh, it's a spring boot application that can perform all the uh, cred operations without any uh, issues so this was all about uh, the delete endpoint and also uh, about this uh, series on building spring boot application that can perform uh, basic cred operations so if you have learned something new please do subscribe to our channel and if you have any requests suggestions or questions please do let us know in the comment section below if you guys want us to do similar series on any other topics please do let us know uh, and don't forget to like the video